<clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Looks like you have a decision to make. There's a little bit of confusion here, okay? For the Two of Pentacles here. There could be a lot of regret, okay? A disappointing situation. For the Two of Pentacles here, I feel there is um, someone who's trying to come in and bring clarity. This is um, indecision too, but I'm feeling that there's someone who has a lot of choices, okay? And this person is coming in to balance the situation and bring clarity to the situation. With the Seven of Cups, this person definitely wants you, okay? After an ending or a separation or a breakup, right? But this person is very confused about how to make move towards you. They're literally thinking, contemplating on what is the mate, on, on making the right choice towards you. This person could be uh, dreaming about you, wanting to have it all with you, okay? But they're still in their head. See the hangman here? This person needs some time. <coughs> the hierophant, this person could be thinking of wanting long-term commitment with you. They feel very drawn to this connection. It's a meant to be connection and something very spiritual. But yeah, they're definitely looking at you as wanting something very traditional with you. There is this indecisiveness, okay? Maybe someone has a lot of options, but uh, or someone's kept their options open. Not like I'm getting that too much, but with the hand when you, I think this person's uh, taking a time out or there's a situation that's been on hold for a very long time, okay? It could be a very frustrating situation for you because someone could have put you on hold, you could have put someone on hold. But yeah, there's this need to look at things from a different perspective, okay? And that's what this person's doing. They're trying to have a change. They have like a change of mind. Try to see things from a new point of view. Seven of Swords. <coughs> I think they're trying to sneak their way in. This could be someone who's trying to escape from something committed, escape from something more real, okay? Maybe this person suppresses their emotions too much, okay? And probably you drop them, you were trying to balance the situation out and you finally dropped them and made a decision to move forward. And this is what has forced this person to see things, um, you know, from your point of view. But there was this forced pause, you know, like a forced break. Something was needed to change this uh, scenario, okay? And what was needed is a changed view. Probably there was this break and pause between you guys, okay? But someone's making their way back in, okay? I think they feel very guilty and they're coming in towards you. Someone feels left out in the cold by you. They feel, uh, they feel isolated, lonely. You could have completely be ignoring them, isolating them, okay? Not replying to their calls, messages. I still not completely. I'm just giving them a cold shoulder. They're very codependent. They're wanting to come towards you. Uh, see? The lovers, they have, they feel the strong soul tie connection to you. <coughs> it's like the runner chains for kind of thing, you know. But with the lovers, like this person is like, literally, I love you, I want you. I want a reconciliation with you. They're coming back. They're feeling very bad about what they did. But I feel that this person is not going to like come in towards you and have like this honest conversation. We'll see further. But right now, it feels like this person is being a little deceptive in their ways. Maybe they're not showing you their true feelings, but maybe you think things are over between you guys. You think like they've made a decision. Okay. But right now, what they're doing is that maybe this pause is a little bit of, you know, um, giving you mixed signals. Okay. But actually, they're trying to make their way back in. They're trying to make a more straightforward and honest approach. Actually, no. I think, <coughs> I don't think it's the straightforward approach. I think it's more like being sneaky. And I think they think that it's not going to be easy to get towards you, right? Now that they're awakened to this um, soul tie connection, right? This is I love you, I want you. And finally awakening to this um, connection. But yeah, they feel the need to be very strategic and then move towards you. This could be someone who's always suppressing their feelings, not showing the, you their feelings, which keeps you very confused all the time. You didn't know where you were standing in their life. Probably always indecisive about you, you know, half and half out. Tell me more. Ace of Cups, they want a brand new beginning with you in love. They finally made up their mind. 
are coming in to bring a lot of balance in the situation, okay? You could be dealing with someone who constantly was neglecting this relationship or a lover, you know, who's um, not giving importance to love, okay? Probably they had a lot going on in their mind or going a lot, going a lot, a lot was going on in their life and they weren't being able to give time to this relationship or their priority was not this relationship. Now they're coming in with Ace of Cups, wanting to move ahead, wanting to open up emotionally <coughs> and they don't want this new beginning in love. Five of Pentacles just wanted to come out, right? They feel very left out by you. They feel isolated. They can't think. Yeah. They want this reconciliation. They miss you. They miss you bad. They're making their way towards you, okay? But if you're asking, if you're assuming they're Russian, no, I don't think they will. This is someone you're dealing with who's a very slow mover, okay? Probably they completely stopped moving towards you in between, okay? They were lacking that motivation, that ambition to move towards you. But uh, probably because they were working on themselves, now they're making that move towards you, but it's baby steps, okay? Slow steps towards you. And that's probably what's giving you mixed signals. Knight of Wands, yeah, a lot of passion, yeah, a lot of passion. They want into Russian now, okay? But it's going to keep you very stuck in their head, <clears throat> stuck in your head when this person comes in because with the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, I feel that's you who's constantly confused because this person has probably put things on hold and it's something like, you know, which is putting you in a place where you don't know what's happening. But they're awakening to this realization, okay, to this connection. They feel left out. They want this with you, okay? Reconciliation. They're rushing in towards you. A lot of passion. But with of swords here, I think you're going to be stuck in your head. You're going to be like, I don't know what to do, do you? I'm so confused. One second you want me. Then you don't. Constantly juggling. Can't make up your mind. Knight of Swords, yeah. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Not only are they rushing in, but they're rushing in to communicate with you. But this could be more like a confrontation. Okay? Maybe they're coming in to address the issue of what they've thought about after this pause. Okay? <clears throat> but with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords, this could be a runner, okay? Maybe they have this habit of coming in, saying what they want and leaving. But again, they have a lot of love for you, for sure. They want this union. <clears throat> They're coming in to say the truth. So don't expect any emotional communication here. They're ready to open up, yes. Maybe this was someone who didn't want to, want to be vulnerable in the past. But they're ready to open up to this connection. They've had a change of mind, for sure. Give me the outcome. Give me the outcome. What is the outcome? What do you want about this? What is the outcome for you and love? Give me the outcome. What is the outcome for you and love? the most likely outcome. Queen of Wands. Yeah. I think they're coming in with that passion here. They're very passionate about you. <coughs> Give me one more. I think they're coming in wanting to be passionate towards you. 
This could also be you who is very focused on yourself, why this person is coming towards you. Maybe you're wanting to be someone who's, you know, wanting to create that mental distance between you and them. The world, you see, yeah. The world and the ace of pentacles, bottom of the deck. They want a brand new practical beginning with you, okay? This is commitment. This is the want to start something stable. I guess they see you as the one who got away is what I'm getting, okay? And now they want to change their ways and they want to come towards you because they've had some time to think about this relationship. Maybe they had a lot of options or they had a lot of choice or they had just too much on their plate. I'm getting too much on their plate, okay? Probably this person never gave you the focus. You were never the focus. But now that you, like again, like five of pentacles, right? It's a very codependent energy. Feeling left out by you, they realize they miss you a lot for sure. And now they miss the times that they had with you and they're coming back. They're coming back for sure. But they're going to do it in a very strategic way. Don't expect any emotional communication here. The fire is there. The passion is there. But yeah, they're ready to open up and they want something new. They want a renewal in love is what I'd say, okay? But you're doing you. And I think that's why you've lost the motivation is what I'm getting, okay? And they're getting back into that motivation. They feel that. Uh, that passion for you with the world here they want to start a new cycle with you okay closing a chapter something where you both had your lessons learned and they want to start a brand new cycle with you and they see you as the queen of wands <coughs> they really um see you in good light they see you as probably someone who has a lot of suitors but to them you're the one they want and they're coming in for you they're coming in for you especially with the lovers and the three of cups this is absolute reconciliation this is a twin flame union it may put you in your head for a while you may be confused because this is an expected conversation, unexpected communication. From nowhere is this person just going to come in. I told you, right? Seven of Swords. They're going to make their way in very strategically, okay? Test the waters. Because there could have been a big break, okay? Between you guys. Things could have been hold for you for a very long time. But they're coming in. It's going to be up to you. Whether you want them back or not. But they want a brand new cycle with you. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. And like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.